weeks, we're not stuck in some dusty laboratory. Absolutely love to spend time at the fun fair. Whizzing round on rides, getting scared on the ghost train. It's what brainiacs love to do. Alongside looking for free loot, of course. And what better victim to relieve of his cash than the shyster who runs the throwing arcade? So, let us show you how. Throwing games come in many different forms. Chucking hoops, lobbing balls, or knocking over targets. These games all have one common thread. They're all carefully designed to part you, the fool, from your cash. But there are ways to tip the odds back in your favour. And these are they. Firstly, pick the right game. For instance, avoid this kind of thing. A game so transparently weighted in favour of the operator that only a mug would play it. And we did. A lot. And lost a considerable amount of money before concluding that there's damn all way of winning. So, anything with a very bouncy ball then, avoid. And the same goes for this kind of thing. The apparently fluffy but heavily weighted knockover target. No pushover, this one, however hard you throw. Same motif then. Also, avoid. Tip number two. If you find you're losing, try aiming high. Climb up, get a steeper angle of attack, and you can increase the chances of hitting more of the target on offer. The targets have been set for a low-angled approach, so this might just pay off. If you can stay on board. If not, make sure you've packed a ladder. Number three, aim for the corner. This is one for the tin can chuck. The aim of the game is to knock over all the cans with just three balls. The temptation is to have a go at this can, the bottom middle. But don't. Tempting though it is, it will invariably result in you being left with this setup, which means you'll have to hit two separated targets with your next two balls. The trick instead is to aim for the corner, this can, here. Hit this one and you're left with a much bigger target for your next two balls. Much easier. <laughs> Tip number four. Watch the man when he resets the target. He decides not to set it like he did before. After putting the cans on top of each other, he squashes them together. By doing this, he makes it less likely next time for the display to break apart. Fewer gaps mean the cans bounce around less, so there's less chance of clearing them all. So remember, see this setup and avoid. And if all else fails, here's the best tip of all. Take an expert. Forget the physics, bring on a bowler. A fast bowler. Courtesy of Somerset Cricket Club. This guy can throw the ball at 90 miles an hour, and he can hit a two-inch wide cricket stump from 30 metres. He shouldn't, therefore, have a problem hitting 16 cans from three metres. So there they are, then. The five top tips to win at funfair throwing games. Turn up, cash in, and take them for all they've got. Courtesy of Brainiac.